Well, Poppy Rio, less than 30 days wow. away. We have been blessed to get one of the athletes that's going. Of course, Blake Gordry joins us. Second Olympics for you, mate. Um, when did you find out? Yeah, so we found out um, maybe a month ago or so. We had the national championships, which was in Melbourne. Um, and then a week later, they kind of did the announcement. So it's pretty surreal to get named for my second team. Um, looking forward to it. Mate, the first Olympics is, is uh, a lot of things happening when you first arrive. You know, there's uh, getting into the village, then the opening ceremony. You're a veteran now, second yeah. Olympics. Uh, <laughs> yeah. did, did you find that though, the first one? They try and prepare you for it, yeah. but it doesn't quite work that way, does no, it? No, it was um, pretty crazy. I didn't really know what to expect leading into it. Even when I was announced, it still didn't really feel like a, it was actually happening. Um, we got to the village and it still, fought, it still kind of felt like it wasn't like the Olympic Games and it wasn't until the opening ceremony that you walk through the stadium into the crowd, everyone's roaring, it's going insane that you start to really grasp the, I guess, the magnitude of what the Olympic Games is. Um, and that's probably something that I'm really looking forward to, to Rio. Fantastic. Trampolini, of course. Uh, yep. from, that first four, uh, from that first Olympics, uh, four years ago yep. now, what do you take in? to this second one because as you said there's there's all these yeah. first times yeah. now all of a sudden you're no i think this time i'm feeling a lot more prepared I'm, I'm four years older four years more experienced and i've had the experience of the olympic games before um i think in london i sort of got in there and, and it's really overwhelming there's so many distractions in the olympic village from um from the people that are, you kind of see and you admire as sportsmen from the media from from everything really it's just mm. so so crazy it's its own world i think having that experience it has really kind of helped me in rio um and in terms of competing uh, competing i guess i'm feeling a lot more prepared and and, and ready to get in there and, and show australia good, good on you. Um, Mate, what for, I've got. for the viewers the set routine first yep. then the voluntary routine now i know in london it was going really nicely the set yeah. and the voluntary and still an outstanding finish at 13th i think a lot of people don't see yeah. talking about 13th in the world not 13th at the under 18 championship so <laughs> yeah, yeah that's right you've got to grasp yeah. that so well done on that uh, firstly yep. but can you explain to the viewers how the set routine works and then into the voluntary routine? Yeah, so in trampolining, the, we do two routines in the preliminary round. Mm -hmm. uh, the first routine will be um, 10 tricks, and two of those 10 tricks will be counted for degree of difficulty, which means that the athletes will tend to do a more difficult skill because you'll get more points for it. The second routine is um, 10 tricks also, and every single skill will count for degree of difficulty, which means you'll tend to see athletes do more somersaults, more twists, and it's a lot more impressive, actually. And in, um, in trampolining, we'll do the preliminary round, 16 athletes, finals will be the top eight, and every athlete will do their, their final routine again, which is the voluntary. Um, and whoever gets the high score will get the gold. C can, you, can you get a feel for where you might sit uh, 13th at London? Do, yep. do, do you get a feel of, OK, have I climbed up top 10? Am I around top five? What is best case scenario? We're, we're, we're yeah, um, in, in London, I wasn't as competitive. And so in my first routine, I went to, to go a lot bigger and, and, and try and pull out some bigger tricks. In the voluntary routine, unfortunately, I didn't get a plan, came 13th. But this Olympic Games, um, I'm really confident to firstly make the finals. In finals, in the Olympic Games, we've got 16 athletes. There's 110 at World Championships. These are the top 16, and every wow. one of these 16 Amazing. will have a chance to medal, and it really depends on what happens on the day. And I've been working big routines. Uh, I prepare to jump higher and, and do more skills than my competitors, and I think if that all comes to play, then uh, it's really it, hard. It did not. come to play, though. In April yep. this year, it, it all fell into place for you pretty nicely. So yep. it's nice to go in on the back of that knowing that the work's paid off and I'm yeah. feeling a bit more comfortable going into yeah. the games. No, we just recently over in the World Cups um, in Italy and Switzerland and um, it was really good to get over there and get an indication of where everyone's sitting really close to the games mm -hmm. and in compared to the other Olympians, uh, I did pretty well. I was in the top eight compared to all the other right. competitors that were going over there and that's kind of a good um, confidence booster going into Rio as well. You know what intrigues me most is the, the mental side of this. In a team sport, you can you can be dragged along by the team, yeah. but in the individual sport where you work so long, and this is the moment, yeah, d d it's, how, it's, how do you handle that pressure? Um, it's good and bad. I like knowing going into a competition that I've got complete control. I, I'm able to really be the, the focus and the driving behind the outcome, I guess. Yeah. Um, in trampolining, it, it all comes down to, you're working your whole life, your whole career, up until two 20 second routines. Yeah. So you might only compete 
total maximum if you make the final is a minute and a half, two minutes on the trampoline. Yeah. Um, and unfortunately, unlike gymnastics, where if you, if you fall off and make a mistake, you can get up and finish your routine. Mm. If you mess up on the first skill, that's it, game over. Mm. Um, and I guess I like that pressure and it, and it makes things interesting. A lot of people don't realise that. So you can go into Olympic Games and um, it's really anyone's game, really. So it is a really... Um, I guess the main difference between all the athletes is, is I guess, the mental side of things. Yeah. I, I don't want to tell you anything about trampoline, but just a tip for you. If you make a mistake in the routine as a gymnast, not too far to fall yeah. on the trampoline, <laughs> yeah. there's a fair yeah. bit too. <laughs> yeah, if you were to sit now, though, Blake, with a first-time Olympian, yep. what advice would you give them now that you've gone through it so they'd be better prepared as you will be going into your second? Yeah, I think the, one of the main things I've taken away is, is in, just think about the process rather than the outcome. I went into the Olympic Games just wanting to really do my best for Australia and, and, and try and do the best things I've ever done, uh, which is really important, but I was al already thinking about the outcome and, and what's going to happen, how it will happen, rather than getting in there and just going through uh, the process and do the things that you normally do in training, get up, go through the momentum and, and really just enjoy the experience. So I think that's one of the biggest key things that I would I'd tell, I guess, a first time Olympian and uh, myself if I could go back as well. Yeah, okay, 30 days away yep. between today and competition yep. time. What lies ahead? Just training. I'm yeah, training. I'm doing three sessions a day now. I've stepped up the training, and, and it's it's a lot of training, but it's not quant it's not the quantity. We're going in and doing short sessions and just making sure everything's perfect. It's the only thing we can do now is really polish up what I've got, and so um that's Fly what out. we'll be doing. Fly out. Yeah, 25th of. Um, July, so yeah, uh, it's three weeks away. So your, your event's in the middle of the Olympic Games, yep. so is it? Uh, don't get too distracted early, yep. and then enjoy it once it's done. Yeah, I think we're pretty lucky in terms of that. We'll have the week where we we'll get to settle in and just focus on the comp, and then the week after to really um, enjoy yourselves and 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 let loose and enjoy yeah. the experience. Yeah, yeah, Blake, an unbelievably exciting right, time yeah. for you, mate. Thirty days yeah. away, we'll get to watch you. There's 1,000 cameras at the Games for Australia, <laughs> yeah. mate, so you're not going to get missed. Don't worry about that. So, mate, every success, and uh, hopefully you get the best performance you've ever Perfect. had. Thank you. Right. Thanks, Thanks, well, 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 Stay with us. Still lots to come on the show.